Taurus, hey, welcome to your reading. This is Jupiter retrograde. Uh, let's jump in and see what's what. I'm getting here right off the bat that um, there is uh, someone you're getting back into contact with. If you were in no contact, I feel like you will break that no contact streak. That was just a message coming through as I was meditating on your energy. Thank you for your support, Taurus, by hitting the like button on this video just as we enter into it. Thank you guys for your support by hitting that like button and also subscribing, sharing, commenting. I love reading your comments as well. Thank you guys for connecting and sort of... Um, also, uh, uh, yeah, giving your feedback there, okay, reflecting a bit the energy. Now, let's back it up. Some of you, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're a cross-watcher, I feel this person really wants... I'm here for some of you back in. <laughs> for some of you, like, oh my, they really miss you. And I feel like they couldn't be more happy to see you, to be with you. I feel like some of you here, you know, this person may have actually pushed you away originally. And this is reminding me of... Um, the Gemini reading. We have here the cards of rejection, new love, and unavailable. For some of you, this person was very mixed signal. Like, they were really um, uncomfortably confusing. I feel like they never really had an answer for you as to what was going down the last time you guys chatted, is what I'm hearing specifically. This person was maybe even a bit brash, or like, hmm, the way that they communicated as you felt it was not really sensitive to the context of the conversation. But anyways, I feel like that's no longer the point. <laughs> they may have had an experience that really sort of got them into a more willing energy space. And, you know, maybe someone was just very stubborn as well. You know, you could be dealing with a Taurus who, listen, I mean, I feel like if they were holding out communication, I feel like they're going to break, like I said, they're going to break that no contact. Like, they can't take it anymore. This person, you know, even, even the toughest, the, oh, this came through the Capricorn reading. The toughest bull in the ring doesn't, doesn't, doesn't want to fight in it anymore. He wants, he wants the ring on, on your hand. Okay, yeah. It's like that, this something has really... I mean, right, but that's become obvious to them. Like, maybe for some of you, even, like, the no contact, the separation really made it super clear that, hey, I mean, yeah, also the role that you're playing in their life. And I feel there's a really strong sense of appreciation here. Now, if this person does not have that awakening, that's not on you, right? Um, this is, uh, for some, though, okay, this is, a, this, is a, this is an epiphany, and this is karmic, right? So um, it may not resonate for everybody. It depends on, obviously, shadow work and so many, yeah, um, elements but um so many so many undulations right that is that is not something we are promised okay this is a matter of letting people go on their own and on their path to do their shadow work and see where they arrive at right uh, but not going looking for them right it's like if you show up and we're in resonation then that's one thing and i'll, I'll obviously see you um but if you're not gonna elevate then you know i don't know <laughs> okay like i'm not going to go looking for you you know what i'm saying like in your own shadow so if you elevate, great. Like, we'll see each other again. Um, for some of you, when you separated, it was very awkward. I'm getting a vision. Yeah, it's very similar. Go check out the Gemini reading. I'm seeing a mailman here. No, this, oh, yeah. Whoa. Guys, this person is very torn. For some of you, they have a lot of sentimental emotion for you. Like, they are in their feels for you. This person, guys, they may even try to win your heart back. For some of you with money i'm like literally seeing that like they may even slap something on your desk it's like what about now it's like this person is not joking around they're not messing around they they, they really really um yeah i'm hearing they're 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 thirsting they're thirsting for you they're very nostalgic about you i see this person sitting under a tree and they, like, remember you. Like, they recall you. I feel like they get nostalgic. Really, really nostalgic about you. I feel like they even have, like, poems that they write about you for some of you. I feel like they maybe were acting like it didn't matter. I mean, ring. And in the end, it doesn't really matter. What's that song about? Is it Linkin Park? It's like they prove their own song wrong. It's like they prove their own lyrics totally wrong. Like, they're not even confident singing that song anymore because they realize it's not true. It's like, for some of you, I'm hearing a song, boys, boys, boys. Is that by uh, Lady Gaga or Sia or something? Okay, anyways. Imagine they're watching. It's like, how offended they'd be. Like, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, we're not the same person. Okay, get it straight. Goddamn. <laughs> okay, like, what the fuck? <laughs> different voices, different people, different stories. Bye. <laughs> Until next time, though, I'll see you next month for next month's reading. Wait, let's go. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Take it as you will. It's like, for some of you, this person grew up. I feel like this person matured in, like, less than, like, three three minutes for some of you. This was a quick turnaround. And, oh, yeah, this person, like, realizes, like, I'm not really, like, yeah, a man. I realize without her and, like, I'm putting it 
together like two squares of chocolate that make a rectangle and like uh what was i thinking <laughs> like yeah it's like how do i how do i i'm hearing how do i live without you yeah but her because i'm not telling her now to her face anymore i'm more like trying to also relate to her on this strange i'm hearing this is this estranged level i'm hearing He's practicing, guys, like, how to win you, win you back. I mean, like, literally. Like, this person is maybe even trying to pick out a song that might suit the connection at this point. It's like, what do I do? Send her some Macy Gray? Like, maybe I can send her, like... Yeah, maybe that's a version of a gift. I don't know. You take it as you will. I mean, they are Taurus, after all. Yeah. No one... I don't think, I don't think people pay these days to send links through. I don't know. No judgment, but I, hey... I pay with my time now. I sent her a whole playlist. I made it. It was very, yeah, very. <laughs> it, yeah, I'm seeing a cassette here. It's like, it was, you know, it took time. So, okay, can we continue now? Keep telling my story. Yeah, I want to I wanna win her heart back. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm putting a lot into it in terms of my time. Oh, okay, it's a very sweet listen. But yeah, um, who is this person? Again? It's like, for some of you, they're worried that they're, co they're wor they have nightmares, guys. What if she, like, doesn't really remember me? What if she's like, who are you? Ew, Roman, Roman, bye. I, I, yeah, I'm with a Greek these days. It's like, what if like, no, that's nothing compared to like this fucking nightmare right over here. It's like, what if she's actually like, I mean, it's tearing in my heart when I'm with you. Is that even how it goes? And then, it's, and, but then I'm like falling in love in that moment thinking she's like sulking over me, but she's actually talking about like my bro. What if she's even in love with my brother at this point? I don't know. They're having nightmares, though. And they're going through the whole gamut of what can be. Okay, I'm hearing, this will be. It's like, he keeps trying to, like, swing away from these, like, really, like, scary thoughts. It's like, but they keep coming through. They keep coming round and round. It's like teacup ride style. Like, here, it fucking comes again. Like, I don't want to think about that guy. I'm hearing that. This is maybe an ex of yours. I don't know. They're worried. Anyways, for some of you, they're seeing you on TV. It's like they see your face and they're just like they start imagining something for some of you you're literally maybe famous and like they they see you and then they you know, automatically think about someone else it's like they maybe saw even a paparazzi photo of you with like someone i don't know take as well it's like they have an association they're trying to push that away from their mind it's like i don't want to think about her edging to like his instagram stop hello thought thoughts stop now yeah this is a good time to stop <laughs> the thing is that this person didn't claim it for some of you with you and they were thinking they're very smart on their own two yeah heels i'm here my blue suede shoes it's like yeah having them shiny was all that mattered right so four of cups the devil it's like it's hey hello world hello world yeah this is not about my shoes it's like and the shininess doesn't work okay with the whole happiness thing so it's not making me happy in other words and like i realize this is superficial it's 1-800 superficial and I'm living that life. And like, what do I do? How do I win it? This is maybe offensive for someone, but I don't know. <laughs> the higher front of the team. Nope, nope. It's me now. I got a stellium in Taurus and I really did think that my shoes were more important than winning her heart back. Okay, I was like, what? <laughs> shoe, Taurus. <laughs> okay, shoe. It's like, I know. You see Nat? And now, listen, don't, don't spoil it for her, but I'm planning on having a moment like this. Can you imagine a Torin like me having a moment like this with her? It's like, maybe this person's going to be shocked. They can't believe it. It's like, yeah, I know. She's not, she, I bet you, like, she'll, she'll never imagine. Now, we're saying she could be however gender. Don't, yeah, don't put your panties up in a jammy because we got, yeah, pronouns there or however, right? Like they, it. Okay, I'm hearing where even, it's like, <laughs> for some of you, listen, they're like, I don't care about the pronouns anymore. It's like, what? It, where even is she maybe she's not even available like they're so scared guys like maybe even if they call you you're not picking up anymore they're lit i see them actually having like a worst case scenario run through their mind but like through every version okay of the story they tell for some of you this person is having maybe two alternative realities even i don't know what that's about but they have like two options of how this can go down queen of pentacles but they're actually very confident for some of you you have a past with this person they're not really worried it's more maybe for some of you it's more i see this as something they don't tell you like they do have like concerns but they don't tell you these concerns but they do have those concerns and they have a whole backstage like persona it's like nobody sees that okay it's like there be lurking i'm hearing that as well they are definitely a lurker as well at times we have justice here on the queen of ups it's like i feel like they don't feel comfortable with people knowing that they do get kind of like worried about shit <laughs> i'm hearing it like this but like mm -hmm, that, that that they also identify okay emotional matters as holding value for some of you i know this may be very offensive but like this is literally this person most likely has at least three or four planets in taurus or an earth sign 
lights off right there like yeah no what well, lights off on the reading i gotta go to work what the fuck <laughs> it's like i'm a tourist listen and i got things to do and like but i'm i'm here it's tearing at my heart i'm torn i'm torn just how to how to win her heart battle how do i do it okay i'm late i gotta go to work though first it's like this person may be like a workaholic but like they realizing that they gotta fit the love thing in somewhere it's like i have to fit her in my story and like yeah the one that i tell with my laces that 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 eventually tie it's like he's even behind oh for some of you guys like this person feels a little embarrassed because i feel like they did prioritize something that they ended up regretting like why did i invest in that instead of that that's so stupid i feel like this person literally maybe even like literally went and like bought something instead of like having like a nice dinner with you this is maybe just an example not like literally for some but for some of you it's like they even maybe i don't know i feel this person honestly looking back at that like i'm cr i'm kooky that was really, really stupid. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm going to the Eight of Pentacles, like Ten of Cups. Like this person maybe has a lot of Gemini and a lot of Taurus. Some of you, a lot of Libra as well. It's like, but that's not what's making this a mess. This is what's making this a hot mess is, yeah, no. This, this, this is the, what's making this a hot mess is that this person is like, kind of for some of you, obviously doing this. And maybe uh, doing this in the sense of, they know that this is not a way for some of you i'm even hearing to treat a lady what does that mean but i'm hearing that it's like they they know it's like i'm oh i see a daddy long leg spider here it's like i know that this is not what she's looking for and i gotta go to work it's like <laughs> he's not me actively making an effort possibly to change it's like listen charlie chaplin's still my name i gotta like still make her laugh that's a priority right now okay it's like gotta get it all straight here i'm clearly not gonna be the rendezvous okay daydream that she's got going in her mind and i know it and you know it. it's like he's talking maybe to someone who doesn't exist i don't know guys this is a little bit ironic it's maybe satirical it's kind of funny it's like not though because i feel like in the meantime it's like every day after work he's like um losing her <laughs> it's like i'm losing the love of my life and this is not working out in my favor it's like he's like punching his chest and shit like he's like on a field like playing football like fucking alone <laughs> it's like this is the feeling he's his own coach his own ref it's like no one else is competing with him it's like in other words like he realizes that this is up to him and like nobody i mean nobody knows it but me it's like he knows this is fucked up <laughs> this is fucked but it's not and i feel like this is what keeps him in this loop then i'm saying him however take as you will is that he goes in the roundabout of like it's a screwy way to show someone you love them it's happening and it's happening again and it's even more intense this time it's like he's kind of like a show i feel like this person maybe yeah for smidgen you they are talking to themselves i don't know but look at this card it's like i could do it that way and i could do it. it's like he's like openly like uh also maybe even neglecting something like he's kind of self-sabotaging it's like yeah i mean i could have like called her back at like eight days but i didn't <laughs> Now it's nine and it's even more like complicated. It's like, but then he doesn't actually, he's not really, I think there's a question of whether or not he's really truly scared of re reaching 10. <laughs> I'm hearing Reese's Pieces. Maybe I will just have another Reese's Pieces. This person is, oh, maybe they got some uh, attention deficit. I feel like this, like maybe like literally they're a bit erratic even, but this is maybe a metaphor for some, like they know that how they feel about you. It's just a matter of like giddy up horsey with that like on the same train as the rest of his cargo that's going to his workplace like in other words he has to fit you into his life he's got to fit it but this is his problem is that he's seeing it as fitting it and he thinks that well he brought it along with him he just needs to figure out how he's going to fit it this person is thinking maybe a little bit too strategically he's compartmentalizing things that are not really they don't go into luggage you know it's like you can put maybe your co-workers in that space not me i mean we are having an emotional connection like you can't also put me on hold like that i think i'm gonna fall in love with elevator music i'm here for your tone your husky one at that and you better sing romantically to me tonight or i'm yeah no this is like you guys you know he's not having this conversation with you anymore i feel like he pushed you away and like he's thinking of that he this person's imagining you a lot i feel like they're really like they're in this fantasy space even yeah king of swords guys nobody knows it but him it's like the way that he feels about you it's like no one knows it he may even be proud of that. It's like, sometimes I feel he feels like, I'm like extremely cool for being able to hold my my emotions back like this. Like, damn, look at me. It's like, he licks his brows back. It's like, that lasts maybe 30 seconds. When he gets to work, it's like his fears start, he's concerned that you are moving on. Suddenly, for some of you, I feel like this person may even catch like a, a photo of you with someone. Oh my God. I think this person needs a little bit of like a push 
okay for some of you yeah it's like and there will be that i feel for some of you like if you moved on some of you i mean honestly who, who wouldn't <laughs> but like uh, 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 if you move on like and you publicize it i feel this person's gonna be looking at like your photo like and some of you openly like just kind of close a curtain on this person like i'm not texting you back okay simon yeah it's like i don't sit there like that with with durango jeans on my chest okay like I'm I'm not I'm not doing a DIY craft. Get up here with you and we're on today. It's like you start getting irritated. You said I'm not gonna let it trigger me. And you just step back and I feel like this person, honestly, I think that they are really still looking at you. And I feel like you're like I'm gonna move on because I'm I'm not gonna be here for like your scary stories. I'm hearing that as well that you want to tell at the end of the night, and then you want to make me laugh by giggling me to. good terms again like i think this person they bank a lot on their humor they bank a lot on their looks i think they bank a lot on their past life i feel they bank a lot on you know a plethora of things that don't actually really add up when you are having a relationship with somebody i hear a leo i hear a sagittarius some of you this person they're openly like a oh, time waster a little bit for some of you feel like there's just waste yeah let's go in the third eye I see someone, I'm here, Cleopatra. I see, uh, for some reason, someone is a police officer or there's something about the Department of Police or something like that, or they wear some sort of chest badge or something when they're at work. Now, for some, for some of you, they're doing very well at that. Like, they're excelling at that. It's like, okay, I got another badge. It's like, you don't need another badge. You're totally, like, a workaholic. I'm hearing that. You're out of balance, bro. I hear that with the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, and it's like... He knows that. I feel this person knows that and they're not worried really, but then they do shift sometimes back to like emotion and the world of emotion and, and, and emotional realities that they could check into, you know, like as a hotel that is after all like, yeah, five stars, like they like you. They think that you guys could be have, have an amazing match, but then it's like, but what do I do about like my parakeet that I just bought? I gotta feed him like, passion fruit <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> oh my god this dude has a pet okay let's get you to the higher font with the queen of torches and he wants to give him like if he's vegan he has a vegan parakeet i'm saying this for some of you i don't know what that's about for absolutely everybody i mean for some of you he's even this is too weird i feel this person is like He's like giving his parakeet a smoke from a cigar. I'm just seeing that. This is not for everybody. Maybe this is a joke. Maybe they're joking about something here. It's like they're they're just spending too much time like in joke world. So, anyways, going back to it, King of Cups. King of now this person's gonna they're gonna see you with someone else. It's like I see that this is an extreme person. I feel like the minute that they get triggered. Like, everything that they built here with the nine of bonicles and the four of bonicles and the eight of bonicles. It's like, everything freezes. Okay, I'm hearing that song by Kygo, Freeze. And they got trigger for some of you. It's like, oh, fuck that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the one who talks, like, and walks at the same time. He's just, he's just a walker. I, I see what she's doing now with that dude. It's like, oh, okay, this person, listen, they're gonna put a fight up now. The High Priestess, he's gonna come through for smidgen of you undercover in an alias format. This is for some. He's gonna come through at a new moon or a full moon. Watch out. <laughs> he's got his get up. It's like, hey, I know what kind of jam you knew with that jelly and it's not what he's serving you. It's like, oh, really? Okay, Umber, so where, I'm here, where are you now? It's like, Justin Bieber needs to know too at this point. He needs to know who he wrote that song for. And he doesn't, yeah, he was inspired to write that song. He doesn't know why. Yeah, little do we know. It's like, yeah, just about you. And like, you, yeah, you, you're making people kind of like, yeah, crazy. I mean, I've been hearing that like, you're making a lot of people like think about what I'm doing. Like, I don't know. I think this person is notorious even for something. I don't know. Maybe you told your friend. It's like, this is the notorious like MIA dude. It's like, he's totally like weird. I'm hearing that as well. <laughs> he's not weird, but like, he's weird. It's like, I feel like the things this person, their excuses don't really, this is not a classic player. I think this is somebody here who has excuses that don't really, like, it's more like for smidgen of you, like, what is the reason? Yeah. Are they. For a small number of you, they may have an addiction. Let's get further. But they like to act like it's not an addiction. It's like, no, 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 it's all good. It's like, this is normal. Three of torches in reverse. I'm having like three melodramatic 
meltdowns in one day. That's not a problem. It's like, I'm saying that lovers in reverse, but for some of you, they are like really a workaholic. I've seen for a large number of you, they're even like collecting things, eight of torches for some of you. They have like some kind of escapism tendency for some of you. They're a chronic diver. It's like, they, I don't know what that's about, but yeah, they like, they gotta like go diving every day. I don't know. Like they got some sort of addiction. <laughs> I'm seeing it to something. <laughs> Like, maybe it's even an activity of some kind with the Eight of Torches. It's, like, every, like, five days, even four days, it's, like, they gotta go diving. Like, deep sea diving with the Eight of Torches. It's, like, there's not- Hello, Simon, there's nothing at the bottom of the ocean anymore. You- Yeah, you got all the scraps. All of them. <laughs> all of the treasures from the Titanic. It's, like, no, no, maybe, like, there is one more jewel. It's, like, listen, I'm pretty sure the director, if he knew what- what in the world- yeah, you were sacrificing to, to try and figure out what happened to her emerald ruby d slipper. I mean, even earring that. It's like, no, there was a slipper. I mean, there was an emerald, yeah, on her slipper. I know it. It's like, maybe he's having, like, dreams. I don't know. Maybe this person's a little bit. There's something going on even chemically. But anyways, let's get back to it. Not for everybody. Let's go down the back of the neck. Okay. <laughs> but for this, maybe a joke. Maybe they say, like, I know I'm crazy. I'm hearing that. Okay, uh, this is what I'm hearing. Six of torches with the eight of torches are like, I know. It's like, but for some of you, maybe even they're very good at what they're doing. But yeah, anyways. For some of you, uh, <laughs> I feel like, yeah, no, it's like if, yeah, the director, the, whoever, yeah, wrote, had the thought of the Titanic, right? If they thought that you'd be doing this, they would have scratched the whole screenplay because they're going to look at you later and they're going to say, well, that was the real love story. And what are, well, I mean, this, maybe they like, they're inspired by something here. It's like, I want to be the one who like, you know, dove down and got it for her. It's like, but then <laughs> what if she's like, she's she's not there anymore once you've got it you know it's like you're going to try to tell them like you're gonna lose me mitchell i'm hearing that michelle mitchell i'm hearing the letter b okay i'm hearing bo booty 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 call doesn't pick up anymore i'm hearing that as well like you're giving them like kind of ads of like i'm i'm out like some of you even gonna fly you're gonna be living in another country it's like i'm not gonna yeah it'd be, my my number won't dial this the way that it the way that it did when we were sisters i'm hearing that it's like sisters maybe you are trying to make it clear to this person like oh yeah the way you're no we were sisters not not more it's like frick this person knows that this is necessary like i gotta go like gotta start like Roman, Roman again with her. Okay, all right, all right, all right. He wants to come back through. Let's back it up. Let's go and maybe he's having like these talks with you in his head. If you're not having these talks with this person, they're having it with you on astral. Maybe they're even dreaming of you. I think that you are guys. You are having like interaction. Yeah, you're having dreams. They're having dreams. Like you guys are talking more on astral. <sighs> Some of you, they also like are thinking about you in a very lusty way. Like they keep like imagining you guys having like intimate moments it's like that's not the point i feel like even on astral you have to interrupt the distraction it's like marty why are you fantasizing about me again like we're not even physically together it's like you're checkmating this person on 5d can we get a little more further yeah oh we're going all the way it's like i see this person has like all this camping gear on it's like they got like a headlamp on this person is very extra so-called it's like they're showing up like no it's like everyone's like what happened where are you going it's like i'm gonna be completely in love with her Okay, I got two horsepower here. I'm making it. I'm making it. Yeah, the way the way that I that I'm making it. You know, rain in my career. I'm gonna make it. Make it to her place tonight, and I'm gonna really show her a good time, and I'm gonna show up. And that's the important thing. It's like I feel like you talk. This person's still talking to themselves, though. This is they're not talking to another person. I feel this is something of a very personal thing that they're coming to the realization of. Like, but for smidgen of you, like they're practicing something. Oh, that's clear. Some of you, okay, they're hitching a ride, actually. <laughs> okay, to burst the bubble with the chariot. But, like, yeah, they're hitching a ride. They're going to hitch a ride with another person. It's like, all right, let make me feel, like, less vulnerable. Are we all going to do this? It's like, you're also going to go visit, like, your sister-in-law? I'm going to, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Six of swords. They're, they're a commitment for some of you. <laughs> but because, like, they get very into the relationship, I feel like they actually... They prefer commitment, but like the claustrophobic type for the other person, like they like to be deathly gripping, <laughs> whatever they're involved in. And yeah, so let's back it up. Yeah, like literally look at this. It's like, okay, that's it. I'm in love. I'm never letting her go. It's like, he doesn't. Yeah. So maybe he's a there's I see maybe even a high spectrum autism energy. Like maybe they don't realize like I'm literally making her feel she has no choice but to like be with me. 
well, yeah, and then it's like he doesn't change his behavior. That it's like it's like yeah, and that's that. Hi Vanessa. It's like he has your hands in a Chinese finger trap. It's like we're in love, and that, it's like where did you come from? I'm hearing Marvin Gay. Is that you? I'm hearing sister, sister. I see this person. They want to slap that out of your hand. Like don't tell me I'm your sister. What the hell? It's like you're my sister, bro. The Empress with the Tower. Honey, I shrunk your penis. It's like, we're not in love. It's like, we're in love. Excuse me, they like come through your house. It's like, they want to put all of the cherries you guys ate together. They want to put all the pits back back in the fridge. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, he's collecting the pits from your cherries that you had together on the farm. It's like, look, see, sentimental. I kept all of our photographs. See, all of our cherry pits. I'm going to, I'm going to actually, it's like, what are you doing with that? It's like, I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to, they want to plant something romantic. Like, I'm going to build a cherry farm and like, I'm going to sow these seeds. I'm going to plant them. I hope they are going to, yeah, suit the, the needs of the cherries that our children will need in the future. It's like, what? <laughs> They're trying to be like, kind of sentimental with you. Okay. Yeah. It's like remember that one cherry yeah remember it was your favorite one you had your hand on it like okay i don't know let's continue yeah this person gonna come through i feel like they wanted they did want to do this but like they maybe were acting like they were maybe even like saving up for like just their career but like it really was actually for you and them together and i see the color orange here all right so taurus yeah i feel like that's actually the message so take it as you will i feel like you'll have a lot of twists and turns this person wants to get um they, they want i'm hearing let's get physical um they they want to um really open the door to a new dynamic with you we'll see